welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing Top 5 Wednesday and today's topic is 5 trends or tropes that you are tired of seeing in books. And so this one was actually kind of easy <laughs> for me because there's quite a few things that I'm just tired of seeing. Um, and I'm sure that I'm not the only one. So let's just get into it. So first thing, insta-love or love triangles? I'm over it. Every YA contemporary that you pick up, one of those two things is happening and I just can't I can't take it anymore. Like, we need to be more creative authors. Come on. <laughs> There's got to be better ways to do things. I like the slow burning romance, you know, and maybe that's my fault for picking up YA contemporary, but I see an adult too and I just don't understand it. Don't get it. It's not realistic. The second thing, so I would say like the innocent, like the really innocent girl with like the bad boy with the sordid past and, you know blah blah blah. Nope. Over it. Don't like it. Like I don't understand why a strong woman can't just fall for an amazing man. Like why does it have to be like this innocent like mousy little girl go after this like bad boy? Like come on. The, that bad boy would never be interested in that little girl. Not for not with good intentions at least. So over that one as well. Um... Another thing that drives me crazy is like missing parents, missing or dead parents or like um, like missing family units altogether. Like I don't understand. Like where are these people's parents? Why do they have to be dead? Like I understand if you make the parents dead then the kid can kind of run around and do whatever they want and they don't have to answer to anybody but really they're gonna, they need to answer to somebody. I don't know. I just, it's overdone. Not a fan. Um, another thing that I am tired of seeing in books is like series, like super long series. Like what happened to standalones? I loved standalone books and it's so hard to find standalones now. I mean, I get it. I get why there's more than one book in a series because you're trying to pull it out so you can make more money. I understand that, but come on. Like sometimes there's just series that just, you could put it all in one book and it would be perfectly fine. We don't need to have six of them. It just takes away from the story, I think. And you know, half the time what happens is if it's like I start a series and then it just drags out and now it's out for like years and years, I'll never finish it. And so you're defeating your purpose of making more money because I will no longer be interested at that point. Another thing that I'm kind of tired of seeing is dystopian. Um, I haven't seen it as much lately, but like a couple years ago it was like super popular and that's all there was is dystopian and I get it. Like, you know, especially now, like dystopian, it could be real life. But, um, yeah, I just kind of outplayed. I just, I don't find myself picking them up anymore. Kind of over it. I want to see new things in, um, the books that I read. I don't want to continue to read, like, the same thing over and over with, like, different characters or, like, a different plot twist or something. It's just, it makes reading boring and, you know, people need to be more imaginative and, like, come up with different things. Not just, like, what is the popular thing and, like you know, make sure that things are diverse and all of that. So yeah, so th that's my top five Wednesday. And um, let me know what things you guys are tired of seeing or, uh, you know, if you did a video or a blog post, link it down below so I can check it out. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.